How's it guys? My name is Murray and I'm a product designer from Durban, South Africa and this is my review of the new updated Bosto King T 22 inch HD. I'll stress the point that this is the new updated version because it's the 2014 version which is a lot better than the previous versions as far as I know. So I've done a lot of research on Wacom alternatives uh, I've read every blog there is to read about all the different brands. Um, I've had experience with the previous Bosto, the 19 inch MA. I had about two months experience on, on that tablet. And I've been working on Wacom Cintiqs for about two years. As you can see here, this is the 21 inch UX. I've got two of them here at work that I've been working on. So. I do have something to compare the Bosto against. So I purchased this tablet in March 2014, I think that's as it was being released. And first impressions are very good. I mean the build quality seems great, I can't really complain about it at all. Comparing it with the Wacom, you know, it doesn't feel as sturdy and durable, but there's not really any issues with it. Um, the screen is cool, nice design. The working area is great. Nothing gets in the way. The screen is pretty glossy, so it does leave um, thumb marks and finger marks, but that's not really an issue. The tablet's very light, which is nice for maneuverability. You can move it around. And it does only have a tilt stand which is not as great as the Wacom's tilt and pivot stand but because the, the tablet's so light it's easy to maneuver it around and there you can see some of the um, screen keys on the right hand side there this tablet doesn't have any map keys on the drawing surface but apparently they are releasing a new pro version which will have map keys not that it's an issue for me really I basically just use the keyboard shortcuts anyway. So setting up the Bosto King T is pretty straightforward. You, They supply you with a driver CD although they are updating the drivers constantly so you basically just install the driver, select your language, um, you can choose either Windows or Mac. Um, once installed you set up and calibrate the screen you can Basically, there's two things to calibrate, which is your pen sensitivity and your clicks, and then just calibrating the screen. Um, I've just got a single monitor set up, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, puts the four crosshairs in the corners of the screen, and it's not 100% accurate, so I, I did press in the middle of the screen each time, and the calibration wasn't perfect, so I had to do it a couple of times, maybe two or three times to get the pen to draw exactly where I wanted it to. So the programs I use on the Bosto is basically Sketchbook Pro 90% of the time and um, on the odd occasion I use Photoshop as well so I can't talk extensively about different programs and how they work. Bosto have really made improvements in their viewing angle so this is the new 178 degree viewing angle and as you can see when I move the camera around you can see the colors don't distort too much which is fantastic so now you can draw in any position that's comfortable for you without your colors distorting too much it's probably as good as the Wacom in this sense yeah, so the aspect ratio of the Bosto 22 inch King T is cool um, I think it's 16 by 9 whereas the Wacom's are 4 by 3 I think and it leaves you with all the space in the middle to draw whilst you have all your tool windows up to the side of the screen which is cool so you've got a lot of space to work with um, your tool windows not getting in the way um, one thing that people do complain about on this new Bosto is the error of parallax basically the distance between the digitizer and the glass surface that you're drawing on and I'll, I'll try and um, show you it now on the screen, just try and get this into focus. Um, I've calibrated it so that the crosshair when I'm drawing in my normal position 
sits just above the pen tip so it's easy to see. The problem comes when you start drawing from the top then your crosshair is kind of covered by the tip of the pen. It's not the end of the world, it's just something that you you need to get used to. It's a, it's a bit difficult when you're drawing close-up details and you might have to redo a couple of the lines, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. And so this is um, Sketchbook Pro and I must say it, it works very well, this program, on this tablet. And I'll show you here, the lag that you experience on the tablet is very, very minimal. If, if not, I can't really say that there is lag at all. And you can see here up close that there's pretty much no jitter in the lines at all. Very smooth and controlled. Just to talk about pressure sensitivity real quick, the the Boster really performs well with its pressure sensitivity. In my opinion, it's actually quite a lot better than the Wacom Cintiqs that I've used. Um, it picks up from the lightest, lightest touch down to drawing very heavy, um, just really good overall pressure sensitivity and it makes it a pleasure to work on this, this tablet, this um, the pressure sensitivity. And then um, line control and precision which was a big issue on the previous tablet. So I said, mentioned before I used the, the Bosto 19MA we bought it down as a, as a trial version and we trialed it out for two months. And the big reason why we sent it back was because of the line precision and control. So lines would be jittery and um, you couldn't get a smooth controlled line. Um, yeah, the new tablet is fantastic as you can see here. It's just very controlled, um, precise, straight lines are not a problem at all. There's very little jitter. So very, very impressed with Bosto um, improving on, on that issue from before. So to show you guys quickly a ruler test, which, was, which kind of shows how the line precision and control works in the tablet. You basically use a physical ruler on the screen of the tablet and you draw straight lines and then do a couple of squiggles and here you can see the result of the ruler test on the boss though. Um, very little jitter, fall off is great, the lines are perfectly straight, um, no problems here. I did the same test on the Wacom Cintiq and on the Bosto 19 MA and here you can see the results of the, the earlier Bosto 19 MA, it was just terrible. Um, there was line wobble everywhere, nothing was precise, you could not draw a smooth line if you tried. Um, the, the Wacom performs very well, the, the lines are straight and the line control is great, there's no lag. The pressure sensitivity is not great, you can't see the fall off in the lines. And the new Bosto King T, in my opinion, which is the, the best of all three, you've got your straight lines, perfect line control, good curves and great pressure sensitivity as well. With good fall off at the end of your lines. To, to talk about the pen real quick, um, the new pen is, is good, it's definitely an improvement over the older pen. It's got a triangular form and it's, it's quite chunky, pretty much the same size as the Wacom pens. The quality feels great, it's, it's comfortable and easy to hold. Um, the eraser however doesn't work very well at all, it's, it's actually useless. The design looks nice, but the triangular shape doesn't really help when you want to be erasing detailed little areas. Um, it also it hops and jumps as you're drawing on the page. It wobbles, um, just not very accurate at all. So one of the issues that I have picked up with this tablet is close to the edges of the screen, the when you're floating the pen above the surface, the cursor seems to hop and jump quite a bit. Um, I managed to solve this problem by moving around the, the USB cable. So as you can see here, right in the corner of the screen by your start tabs and whatnot, I'll hover the pen over it and there's no hopping or jumping. So I fortunately managed to get that problem sorted out. You can see in the top corner as well. 
as I take it close to the, the exit sign, there's no hopping or jumping. And another issue that I have picked up with this tablet is when drawing very hard or drawing close to the edges of the screen, you sometimes get um, random pen spikes and your, your pen just jumps to random places in the page. And as you can see here, I've managed to sort of this, this problem out um, as well. I'm drawing quite hard on the screen here, right close to the edge and you can see the pen's not really jumping anywhere um, again I, th I sorted out this problem by moving the USB cable so apparently the, the pen jumping and sparking has got to do with a electromagnetic interference which is linked to where you plug your USB cable into your computer so I've moved my USB cable and I've plugged it into the front of the computer as you can see here away from all the other cables and that's really improved that issue a lot. So being from Durban, South Africa, um, I purchased this tablet now in March 2014 and I bought it from Bosto AME which is Bosto Africa Middle East and their website I think it's www.bosto.co where most of the American guys I think you get your tablets from bostotablet.com um, there is a lot of negativity around Bosto's um, client service um, I can't really say I've experienced anything like that or I haven't dealt with Bosto themselves I've been dealing with the middleman through um, Bosto AME and he has been absolutely wonderful to deal with, very helpful, always replying to emails on time, um, answering all the questions I have. Purchasing the tablet wasn't an issue at all, um, pretty much straightforward, um, it arrived in, in good order. So, you know, my experiences with, with Basta have actually been very good. And then they also have a user group. Um, on their website which is very helpful there are a lot of issues that people have experienced with the tablets and most of them are posted up on that group and a lot of them have actually been answered um, yeah like I mentioned earlier there's extensive um, testing that's happened on different drawing platforms on the different tablets so if you want to see how your drawing package performs on the tablet you can just check out the user group on Bosto's website. So once I received this tablet I decided to really put it to the test and see what kind of quality work I could produce to see if you know I could produce work in the same quality that I, that I could on the Wacom's and this here is an example of what type of quality of work you can produce on the Bosto. It's a car that I've been drawing over the past couple of days. It's not my own design, it's a McLaren P1 but it just shows. You can see all the detail and colors and control. It's fantastic. I mean it was a pleasure drawing this and I didn't come up with, with any issues the whole way through. You can just see as I hide some of the layers and whatnot. So yeah, I think that shows the capabilities of this tablet and, and I would say it's, it's a tool that you can produce work on the same level as the Wacom. It doesn't hold you back at all. There's a few things that you've got to get used to and a few issues along the way, but overall you can definitely produce the same level of work as on the Wacom, in my opinion. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, in summary, what can I say, if I break this up into pros and cons, I would say pros about the new Bosto tablet, the screen aspect ratio is very nice for sketching, I think it's better than the Wacom. The new pen has a lot less play in the nib, making it a lot better when 
drawing smaller details. The line precision and quality issues have finally been fixed, so props to Barstow for that. Um, also, the pressure sensitivity works awesome, better than the Wacken in my opinion. The new 178 degree viewing angle is very good, and the resolution and color is very good. Also, the tablet's quite light and, and easy to maneuver, so those are pretty much all the pros. The cons, um, there are no buttons on the tablet for map keys, so you have to use the keyboard. The screen doesn't come with a map form, so the gloss surface leaves handprints and um, thumbprints and whatnot. The stand doesn't swivel, it only tilts, which was a nice additive to the Wacom. The pen eraser works terribly, hops and jumps around, basically unusable in my opinion. The eraser shape is also not great for erasing, detailed erasing. And also there's no place to store the pen on the, the tablet itself. But you know, in overview, all, all these issues aside, um, none of them are really deal breakers for me. Um, as mentioned before, I think this tablet is perfectly capable of producing the same level and quality of work as on the Wacom, it's just slightly more effort to get there, dealing with um, an issue now and then and, and set up a bit of a mission. Now also one of the cons would be the, the warranty, the one year warranty, and if you're not satisfied with the product, you've got to pay shipping back to China, which I think is around $200, so if you aren't happy with the tablet, you do end up losing out on a bit of money but yeah I mean overall I'm I'm very happy with it it's definitely worth the price that you're paying for it and it's a it's a big yes for me yeah thanks guys